Evidence markers litter the lot where Renton police say at least one shooter killed a 32 year old man from Tacoma and hurt six other people. Police say gunfire followed an argument outside a gathering on Logan Avenue South. I heard uh, pop, 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 multiple rounds of what I knew was guns going off. There was a bunch of people running, scattered, um, cop cars. We believe that this is all related to obviously some kind of dispute that occurred here. It's not a random event. <laughs> Tense moments followed as police worked to question witnesses, but found few answers as to what started the dispute. I don't know. What's the answer? Why are people so angry with each other? That's the question more people are asking as gun violence touches communities. Like this one, where violence struck right outside an event in the rented musicians hall. Every time uh, those spaces are violated, um, at the hands of senseless gun violence. You know, it does take a toll on people, you know, wanting to be outside, should they go outside. So sometimes well, that can have a domino effect. It comes less than a month after eight people were shot outside a Raven Tacoma and on a national level, weeks after dozens were shot at a parade in Illinois. Now this happened in our community. Tremaine Edwards says the Alliance for Gun Responsibility encourages people to get educated and get involved to prevent more violence. We don't have to keep worrying about not if, but when. That is not a mindset that we should have in our communities. Um, and we know that we can have a culture that balances rights with responsibility. Police say they'll be looking for suspects in this shooting as half a dozen people recover from their injuries. And Erica, there was another shooting in Renton just blocks away earlier this month. Any sign that they were connected? Well, Christian, so far there's no any no word that they are potentially connected. However, it has still been a lot for this community to deal with. That was on July 9th, and police say that they found a 34 year old man also from Tacoma who was dead near second and Williams. That case also still under investigation. Again, no word on if those are connected quite yet. Back to you.